Hi there, I'm Robin Marie Smith and I'm the Tech Savvy Artist. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do your very first Instagram Reel. It's not as hard as you might think. To get started, go to your profile and click the plus in the upper right corner. Then you're going to scroll down and see Reel and you're going to tap on that. And then it will open up your camera. So let's go over a few of the tools on the left hand side. The very top you'll see the number 15. If you tap that, it opens it up to 30. Basically, you can have a 15 second reel or you can have a 30 second reel. We'll do a 15. Below that is a music icon. If you tap that, you'll be able to choose music. We're not gonna put music in this right now, but I wanted to show you where it is. The third bubble down is gonna give you the speed. So 1x is normal. 2, 3, faster, and then 0 0.3, 0 0.5 is slower. The bottom icon, the little face, is going to give you effects. So if you're doing something where it's on your face, you can search through and find a bunch of different effects um, that you can add to. And then the very bottom, this one's important, is your clock. This is the timer. This is where you will set each of the segments or clips You'll give them a time, okay? So I'm gonna cancel that for now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm in my front office, my studio, um, my office space, and I'm gonna just go ahead and do three clips of different parts of that, okay? So I'm gonna click on the timer and I'm gonna take that red box on the far right, you're gonna see a white line on the red box. You're gonna hold it and scroll over and since I'm doing 15, I want to do around five, okay? And then I'm going to make sure that I'm where I want to be for the recording. And then you're going to set the timer. Now, as soon as you hit the button above the reels, the little white circle there, it's going to do a countdown. And so now I'm going to go through. And across the top, you're going to see a bar. And then it stops. Okay, so now we have one reel in there. If I click the circle to the left of the, of the actual record button, you will see the clip. So we can watch the clip over again. All right, now I'm gonna click done and we're gonna go and do our second clip. If you notice in the very top of the screen, you'll see a red bar that's showing you one clip. Let's go back to the timer and let's move it over to about 10. We're gonna hit set timer, and now I'm gonna just change where I'm gonna be. So, let's go here, and then again, if I hit the record, I'll get my timer countdown, and then I can go across and you'll see where it will stop. Okay. Now we have clip number two. So if I go to the little circle to the left of the record button, you're gonna see the two clips in the bottom corner. You're gonna see clip one and clip two. Now I'm gonna hit done, and I'm ready now to do the third. So I'm gonna hit the timer. It's already set now, so I'm gonna hit set timer. And then let's go to a different spot, this spot here. This is where the, all the techie computer stuff is. All right, now we're gonna hit play or hit record and we'll get the timer, the countdown, and then we'll have a few seconds on this clip. Okay, so now at the very bottom, after all the clips have been added, you're gonna see it's gonna run through each clip, the first clip, the second clip, and then the third clip, right? Now, let's say that we want to add some text to this. In the upper right corner, much like a story, you're gonna tap the letters. And let's type in, I wanna show you how to do this where you only put it on a certain clip. So let's just type it in like you would for any, anything in story. And then hit done, okay. Now, what I want you to see is that it's running from, it's the whole clip, it's running the whole clip. I don't want it to do that. 
So what I'm going to do is at the very bottom, you're going to see how it's running along these clips. There's a white box around and I'm going to grab the end of the box and I'm going to move it to where it gets to right about there. And now you'll see the wall art words are faded. You can't really see them, but they're there. That lets me know that there's something there, but it won't appear until we get to that last clip, where it's, where it's that's where I want it to appear. And you can move that white box until it gets exactly where you want it. And see now, it's only showing on that one clip. And I can still move it and put it where I want it. Even though it's light, you can see it up here in the upper right corner. That lets me know it's there, but then it won't appear, there we go, until I get to the clip that I actually want it to be on. Pretty cool, right? You can also do uh, GIFs and things like that. So you can search up here in GIFs. Let's do, um, let's see if there might be something pretty right here. Um, this is really just to, uh, <laughs> To show you how it works, let's type in art and see what comes up. I don't know if there'll be anything good in here or not, but basically, well, let's do a heart. Let's do this one. All right, and so now for this one, I want it to appear um, on the second clip, okay? So once again, I'm going to scroll over until it just starts the second clip right about there. And I want it to end as well, let's see, right about there. And then let's move it up here. And you'll see that it should end about the time wall art appears. But you can still see the faded heart there because it kind of lets you know that it's there even though it doesn't show up until the second clip. And so you can kind of play around with it until you get it to work the way you want. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so let's say, um, and of course you would add your music. I'm gonna hit the arrow in the upper left corner. And this takes me back to kind of the place where we were doing all the recording and editing. And again, to the left of that record button is where you see all of your clips. There's clip one, two, three, and then when we hit done, and then you hit the arrow to the right, it takes us to where we're gonna see our edited reel. There you go. And you know, you can do static, you could do images, you don't have to do all video. And there's our third one. And again, I'm not gonna add music into this because it interferes with my recording, um, but you would add the music before and then the music would actually be playing. You'd hear it while you're doing, um, you're running through this. All right, let's say we're finished now, right? We're gonna hit the arrow in the circle to the right of our clip. That's going to take us directly to where we add our caption. You can add your hashtags in here. Um, and then you can also modify the cover. So if you tap on the thumbnail up at the top left and hit cover, you can scroll, you can add from your camera roll, or if you wanted to say pull something from the image itself, you can hit done. Now keep in mind, if you have text or anything on your reel, you wanna make sure that well, if it's kind of in that middle square and you decide you want it to show in your Instagram feed so that people can see it, it, it could be cut off, it could be wonky. So you kind of want to make sure that it's anything that you have in that center square of whatever your cover is, is that it doesn't really have words or captions or anything that would get cut off. Okay, now you can save directly from here. You can, or you can share directly from here. Put your captions in, put your whatever in. And at the bottom, I'm going to save it as a draft because maybe I'm not ready to do that yet. Okay. And I want to show you this anyway. I'm certainly not going to post that. So now I'm going to scroll down and just above my thumbnails in my feed, you're going to see your grid. And then to the left of that, you're going to see your little reel icon. If you tap on that, you will then see ones that you've posted and then any that you have that are drafts. So if you tap on drafts of the ones that you want to, see the drafts for, and then you tap on it again, you will then be able to change it, edit it, and then post it. 
Now, one thing I did notice is that if you do that, the cover changes. So you can see my cover now has that word kind of up at the top. So I would need to go back in and for some reason, I don't know why it does that, but it does. And then now if I'm ready, I can share it. And if you decide that you want to share it in your feed, you can turn that button on or you can turn that button off depending on what you want. And that's all there is to it. So if you just want to share to your feed, you leave the button on and you can turn the button off if you don't want to share it to your feed. But it's great to do that because then um, more people will see it because they're going to see it pop up in their feed and more likely to go over and see it. So I'm just going to again save it as a draft because I really don't want to post that now. And that is all there is to it, folks. I really look forward to seeing your first reel. Please tag me at Robin Marie. I really want to see um, your first reel so I can give you a shout out and give you some love. All right. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.